So if the eyeball doesn't see, what sees? The mind. You say you want to see God. Yes? But I say you can't see with the eyeball. So then you, then if you're intelligent, you'll say, well, then how can I see? Then what will I say? You'll see in the mind. Therefore, if you're chanting Hare Krishna mantra for two days, you're experiencing and seeing God in your mind. First of all, the mind is a seer. Be sport, sporty, be sporty. They come when the heart is contacted, be shuddha sattva. These are mental experiences of God. You really see God and you see Leela. It seems so real. You can reach out and touch it. And you can smell it. And you can taste it. And you can see it and hear it. Just like your dreams. But it's not a dream. A dream is Kalpana. Kalpana comes to the imaginative Kanishta. I dreamed of God. I dreamed of Radha. I dreamed of Krishna. This is the imaginative neophyte. There, this is not sporty. This is kalpana. There's a big difference. It's fabricated in your mind. It's an image. You're good at ima- you're a good. You have good imaginative powers. You looked at cart. You looked at coloring books for ten days, and you dreamed of Krishna. This is this is the dream. It's swapna. It's kalpana. It's not sporty. It's not real. Sporty is real because bhava is transcendental. Bhava is, bhava is transcendental. Krishna is transcendental. You see transcendence when you have transcendental apparatus. Transcendental apparatus is a spiritualized mind. Spiritualized mind happens when it contacts Vishuddha Sattva. Vishuddha Sattva is pure bhakti. Pure bhakti is ladini and samvit. You can't see the embodiment of love without the contact of ladini. And you can't see the embodiment of the complete truth without the contact of Samvit. Samvit. What does Samvit mean? Complete truth. God is the absolute complete truth. So seeing God is in the mind. Be sporty, sporty. Then, because I'm only discussing this verse, the entire discussion is on this verse. I have not come off the point for one moment. So now, Tyajat, Sakshat, Krishna, Agata. Bhishma is not having sporty or be sporty at this moment, lying on the bed of arrows in the fulfillment of his Itcha uh, Mritu. He's having Sakshat Krishna Darshan because he has come, he has at the level of Prema. So at the level of Prema, Krishna enters the senses, he enters the mind. You see Krishna in the mind. And sporty be sporty bhava bhakti. Then Krishna spiritualizes even the physical apparatus of seeing. What the material eyeball becomes spiritualized. And then the premi bhakti can see sakshat face to face Krishna. He can touch Krishna. He can embrace Krishna, kiss Krishna, and experience it. This is the experience. This is the experience of Bhishma at the time of death. This is seeing Krishna. There's so many levels of seeing Krishna. I've been chanting five years. You're seeing Krishna. I never dreamed of Krishna. I never saw Krishna in my mind. I'm not seeing him. Krishna is to experience Krishna, to want to chant again, means you're seeing Krishna. Because some people, they chant. I don't find Krishna in my mind by this process. I don't feel encouragement. Encouragement is seeing Krishna. Determination is seeing Krishna. Taste, experience is seeing Krishna. Seeing Krishna means Krishna's presence and prabhav and effect in my mind and life. That's Krishna. Krishna gives you determination. Krishna gives you the taste. Krishna gives you inner satisfaction. Krishna, this is all seeing Krishna. We say, see, I judge a thing by its results. Are you seeing results, yes or no? As, are you chanting Hare Krishna and seeing any result? Yes. What is that result? That result is seeing God. When you go to the Guru, 
your own guru, when you go to your guru who gave you Siddha Pranali and say, last night I had a dream of Radha Krishna, he'll laugh. And what will he say to you? That I've heard that answer directly. I heard, I, I heard it said to others. He laughed heartily and said, this is very nice. You're eating mangoes without planting a seed. <laughs> 